A country in mourning, shaken to its core by a wicked attack on some of its youngest. Not since the Second World War has the peaceful nation of Norway seen such a tragedy. The death toll stands at 92, but as the search for bodies continues, police say it could reach closer to 100. The Prime Minister left to carry the weight of the nation's sorrow. Combination of the bomb explosion here with the shooting at the youth camp of the uh, Labour Party. And that makes this to really, really a serious uh, attack uh, at people in Norway, uh, at the, the Norwegian society, at the values we believe in. And uh, therefore it is so great uh, uh, to see that the Norwegian people are united. But as the world comes to grips with images of yesterday's twin attacks, Norwegian police are scrambling to answer questions about this man. Anders Brevik. He's still just a suspect, but according to reports on Norwegian television, he won't be putting up much of a fight in court. Instead, his lawyer says Brevik believes his actions were atrocious, but necessary. And today it's become clear the attack was no snap decision. Brevik had been busy working on a 1,500-page manifesto. It chillingly foreshadows his plans for a shooting spree he would later enact on the tiny island of Atoya. To be honest with you, uh, when I saw him from the side uh, yelling that he was about to kill us, he looked like he were taking from a Nazi movie or something. Words that will undoubtedly haunt Norway for generations to come. Kieran Ricketts, ABC News.